this video, I will show you how to create your viral AI influencer using free AI tools. I will guide you step by step using the fastest, easiest, and most importantly, a free method to create photorealistic AI influencers like Ayatana Lopez, Lil Michaela, Emma Graham, and Bermuda Isbay. Many of these viral AI influencers are making over $10,000 a month, and you can get in on this too, using this free method and generate a consistent monthly income. Make sure to follow closely and watch till the end, because I will be sharing some very useful tips throughout this video that will save you time and money. And for those who stick around until the end, I also have a free bonus tool that will help you make extra cash from your AI influencer account, so don't miss out. I will be using Fucus as our platform to create our AI influencer model. Then we will use the various Fucus features to generate consistent characters with different poses, outfits, and backgrounds based on our base model. I will also demonstrate how to do a face swap of your model with an existing image, but in a much better way than other face swap methods out there. Google Colab is a platform for writing and running code collaboratively and has a stable and user-friendly web interface known as Fucus. This is an image generating software. It's like a mix of stable diffusion and mid-journey. Now let's get started. I will leave this link in the description below. After you click this link, you need to log into your Gmail account first. After you are logged in, click here to connect. You will need to wait a few seconds to connect to the server. When you are connected, click this play button on top left. Once you click this, you will get this warning message, but you can ignore it and click run anyway. It's totally safe to do so. Now, it actually starts to run the code. When it's done, find this URL that ends with gradio.live and click on it. We're officially in the Fucus interface. Click on advanced on the bottom and let's examine the setting tab first. For the performance, the speed would generate the image faster. Quality would prioritize the image quality and extreme speed would prioritize speed over everything else, but will sacrifice the quality. So I recommend selecting quality. Here you see the aspect ratio. If you want it for an Instagram post, the ratio is one by one. Then you've got the number of images you want to generate for one particular prompt. And then you have a negative prompt section, which you can use to mention anything that you don't want in the image. If you are copying a prompt from an already generated image from Leonardo.ai or Tensor.art, you can also use the negative prompt that was used for that image. In random, you find the seed value, which determines the randomness in the image generation process. If you activate random, you will generate new images each time. Turning it off will create the same image with the same prompt. In style, you will find many predefined looks that will help you to generate certain looks and styles. You can see 3D model, comic book, pixel art, origami, ads high fashion editorial, ads advertising, ads retail, game Minecraft, and the list goes on. Now back to our tabs. For model, make sure the default Juggernaut Excel button is selected. And in the Advanced tab, I usually leave the Guidance Scale and Image Sharpness as default. If you click on the Developer Debug Mode, you will see several different tabs. You don't need to worry about this for now, but we will use the features in the Control and In Paint tabs later. Now let's go back to the Style tab and try a few just for fun. Let's see what these different styles can generate. We will try High Fashion. Here's the prompt I'm using. It's super cool that you can actually see the process. This is pretty good. They actually look like supermodels. Now let's try a simple prompt like hat with the high fashion style selected. It generated a model with cat ears and a cat wearing high fashion gown. This is pretty funny. Now, if you want to generate something that's not photorealistic like comic, you need to check off the default ones. Fucus V2, Fucus Enhance, and Fucus Sharp. As you can see, the possibilities are endless. Go ahead and try the different styles and let me know in the comments what is your favorite one. Now let's start generating some AI influencers. We need a prompt to use here to generate our models. The easiest way is to simply copy the prompts from image generation sites like Leonardo.ai, Tensor.art, CivitAI.com, or CR.ai. We need to find a photorealistic image prompt to copy. I found a really good photorealistic image generated in CivitAI.com as you see here, so you can grab this prompt to use as a base and modify it according to what you want. I have left the prompt in the description in case you want it. Here, I will be using this modified prompt to generate our model. If you remember Chloe from my last video, she's been complaining that she has too much work to do, so I am going to get her a new sidekick to help her out. Let's try this prompt and see who we will be saying hello to. Now, for what we are doing here, you can either use art style hyperrealism or focus photography. Leave the other three options checked as is. This will give us the most realistic look for our AI models. I'm going to select one by one dimension for Instagram posts. It's so cool to be able to see the image generation process right in front of your eyes. These are pretty good. The details of the hair and the freckles make her look quite realistic. But let's try again and see what else it generates. I didn't change the prompt, but because the default random feature is selected, it generated images with slightly different poses, hair, outfit, and background without having to change the prompt. Oh, 
I like these ones as well. Now I want to generate some more images with the top and bottom extended, so let's go to the main screen and click on Input Image. Under the Input Image tab, we see Upscale or Variations, where you can upscale your image and make variations. Image Prompt, where we can generate the model in different outfits and backgrounds with a source image. Face Swap, where you can swap faces. Pyracanny, where you can input poses you want to imitate. CPDS, where you can fuse different structures and background. In Paint or Out Paint tab is where we can fix imperfections, modify content, or extend the image left, right, top, and bottom. And Describe is where we can upload an image and generate a prompt for that image. Since I want to extend this image top and bottom, we are going to the In Paint or Out Paint function, and I am going to select 13 by 19 for this. I added revealing shoulders in the prompt. Let's generate once again. I think our AI influencer model is starting to look more polished. Now I want to generate this in one-to-one -one dimension, and I am also curious if the outcome will be the same or different. Okay, it's a bit different but with the same face. I think we got it now. Wow, she's beautiful. She's the one. She tells me her name is Phoebe. Hey you, it's so nice to meet you. Thank you for watching. I am dedicated to finding the easiest and the fastest way to do things, using free AI tools to help you grow your online business. So make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification. I want to see you again in our next video. I will be helping out Chloe, so if you have any questions, don't forget to comment below, and I will personally reply to all of your comments. By the way, if you want to know how I made her talk, watch my previous video here. I have a feeling she's going to get popular, so I have made her an Instagram account. Check her out at Phoebe Raven on Instagram. Give her some love and follow her journey around the world. Now that we have generated our AI influencer model, let's see what else Fucus can do for us to make her famous. Now let's look at the Upscale or Variations tab. Again, from the main page, we click on Input Image. For variations, we have Very Subtle and Very Strong. That means the image change will be subtle or drastic. It will combine the original image and the prompt to generate a new image. Let's try the Very Subtle for now and press Generate. They both look like the original image. One looks a bit too made up, but the other one looks good. Now let's try the Very Strong setting. It is still the same face, but the hair has changed a bit. You can use this when you want to create a variation of hairstyles or other elements like clothes. Let's generate another one with an added prompt to the original. Big smile with teeth showing. They look pretty good and realistic. I am going to add another prompt in front of a restaurant in Paris eating a cookie. I'm curious how good it will be. They look pretty good except for the finger in the first picture. From time to time, you will get imperfections with some outputs like weird hands or moles, but these you can easily get rid of by changing the settings or with the in paint function here. I also have another super free and easy method. I will show you later on in the video, so make sure you stay till the end. Now, here comes the super fun part. Let's look at this image prompt tab. You can use this when you want to use an existing image to change the background, outfit, or any other elements combined with a specific prompt. I am going to show you several different ways to do this here, so follow along closely. To start, click on the advanced button on the bottom. I have the target image already uploaded here, and I change the weight to 0.8. The higher you go with weight, the closer it resembles the input image. I added, she is in Copenhagen, standing on a busy street wearing a summer dress to see what it generates. The background actually looks real and has a Copenhagen feel. Another awesome way to do a face swap is to use the image prompt together with the upscale or variation function. In image prompt, upload an image of the pose you want to use. I inserted a picture of a woman with white dress at the beach and added an extra prompt. She is at the beach to the original prompt. Then upload the face you want to be used in the upscale or variation tab. One last thing to do is to go to the advanced tab on the right. Click on developer debug mode and under the control tab, click on mixing image prompt with very upscale. I think we got it. Let's compare it to the original image. This image looks like Phoebe, and she is wearing a white dress with a beach background. A useful tip here, if you see an error screen like this during the generation process, do not panic. When this happens, simply go back to the Google Colab Focus platform and press this play button again. Let it run, and when you see this Gradio.live link again, click on it and you will see the starting screen again. Now here is another method you can use to do a face swap. From this screen, click on Input Image, then the Image Prompt tab, then click on Advanced on the bottom here. Click on Face Swap and upload the image you want to use. Now we input the original prompt to generate this model and I added, she's eating a steak dish at a restaurant in Paris and hit generate. I really enjoy watching this generation process. 
Wow, I like the output. I think it did a really great job at maintaining Phoebe's face and generating images with great detail like the people in the background and the restaurant interior. If you click on this document link right below, you will see the detailed documentation about the face swap feature. Also, if you click on the document file in each section, you will see a detailed documentation about the different functions. Let's now look at in-paint or out-paint. You can use in-paint when you want to add or fix something. An out-paint will extend the image to left, right, top, and bottom. And here, you can change the settings for in-paint or out-paint, improve details, or modify content. Using the in-paint function, let's try to add a necklace on Phoebe. I have a photo of her already uploaded here. Simply draw a line where you want the necklace to be. Write a prompt such as diamond necklace, and let's generate. It's awesome that you can see the close-up of the necklace being formed. Wow, these look realistic and look good on her. I'm very happy with the output. Now let's try the out paint function. You can extend the image to either left and right or top and bottom or both. So let's check them all and see what we get. I have uploaded another image I generated earlier and I left the prompt as is. Let's generate and see what we get. Now the photo has been extended all sides with the background. It looks super realistic, except for these lines here, but this can easily be fixed. To fix imperfections, I found it easiest to use Leonardo.ai's Canvas Editor. I have already uploaded an image of Phoebe. She has an imperfection on her nose. It kind of looks like a nose piercing or a big mole, so let's try to fix this. Select Stable Diffusion 2.1, which is great for photorealistic images. Select the number of images depending on how many different versions of it you want. Click on Select and move the area box to where you want to fix and write a simple prompt like Skin. Click on the Paintbrush icon, change the paintbrush size if needed, and highlight the area you want to change, then click on Generate. The two results look good, but this one looks cleaner, so I'm going to select this and click on Accept here and click on Download. I really like how Leonardo did a great job removing this. Now, I have a cool free tool to introduce to you called Blessa.io that you can use on your AI influencer accounts. It's a platform that allows you to safely receive gifts without ever revealing your address. You can link this on your social accounts like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Twitch. I have linked this to Phoebe's Instagram account. Go and check out her wishlist at Phoebe Raven and see how it works. You can create your wish list from online retailers and easily share your wish list. And the best part is that it's free for you to use. You can also thank your fans by showcasing your gift with a shout out on your socials or thank your fans directly on Blessa via a personal text or video message. You can accept gifts from anywhere in the world. All you have to do is sign up for an account and you are set. Click on the link in the description below. This is another great way to earn extra cash through your AI influencer accounts. You can thank me later. <laughs>